Uh, thought today was a good day, um, you know, for us to come out. You know, I, I told the guys beforehand and, and you know, yesterday in meetings, and uh, you know, obviously uh, before we came out today. You know, today's an identity practice. You know, it's one of those that you know, everybody has all the focus on the uh, spring game, which was great, and you know, really liked what I saw, um, and and really all phases of what we did. I mean, there's good, there's bad, there's things that that are. are, are Easily coachable, but also opportunities for us to, to grow and get better. Um, you know, yesterday was was an important day for us because we got to go back and watch it. We got, you know, uh, I always like to try to have a practice after spring because now you get to 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 maximize the time together and learning from the in-game experience. And you know, we were able to do that for all three of our uh, scrimmages. Uh, but then today, you know, we came out, we were in shells. Uh, wanted to get a, some good special teams work, probably you know, 40, 45 minutes of special teams work that we were able to do. Still got some one-on-one, still got some uh, seven-on-seven work. Uh, and then we were able to break up at the end and really work on some some uh, unique presentations, whether that was you know different things uh, defensively that we didn't maybe see as much of in, in the spring. Um, and then, you know, just certain things, you know, defensively of, of what we could potentially see there from uh, from offenses, you know, throughout. But, uh, you know, I thought that was a really good work from the mental aspect of it. And I just like, I like where our guys are at. I really appreciate the work that they had. I appreciate the, the, the mindset, the mentality. You know, we had the one practice there about halfway through it. Um, that was a that we we didn't bring the intensity to the level of what I expect and um, you know I think like I told you guys last week I mean they responded and you know they responded throughout the uh, uh, the rest of spring I thought we got better you know throughout throughout uh, you know each of the practices and um, you know it's puts us in a really good spot for uh, for what what we need to do here this summer uh, majority of our team is here I mean there will be. Uh, uh, you know, there'll be a little bit of a probably a, a handful of guys that are coming in. You know, that were signees early. That um, you know, will be summer or, or you know, spring graduates, and then you know you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you'll hear moving forward. But uh, the majority of our team is here and in place. And uh, you know, I like I like the work we were able to get in, and uh, you know, excited about uh, you know as this as this group continues to grow together. Um, you know, if they'll continue to push to that standard, um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be fun fun to watch them uh, uh, grow and perform. Will you be highly exclusive when it comes to adding pieces, maybe in the portal, or has anything changed? You think in terms of what your needs are? I mean, we it's something that we continually evaluate, and it, you know, if the, for us, it's still the same the same standard. We're looking for the right fit, and you know, it's you know, if you if we get an opportunity to um, you know find you know, somebody that, that brings uh, you know great value to to our program, you know, on the field, off the field, and all the things that of being a great you know Florida State Seminole, then that's, a, that's something we'll always explore, and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about uh, the direction that we're heading and you know some of the pieces that that uh, um, will be added in the summer that we've already signed and then you know the potential of what's ahead watching the film was there anything that stood out that maybe you didn't see in the line? I know I mean I pretty much well, a lot of it you know I, I understood and expected you know some of some of the things with the whistle you know there's some opportunities that Jordan probably would have had um, you know that were that were that were probably quick whistles but in a sense you know uh, I, I actually liked how he performed. There was a couple, you know, he was going to the right spots. He was putting the ball in, in good places. I thought Tate, um, you know, really the same thing. You know, there's a, uh, a couple routes that we have got to clean up, you know, just details on, um, but, you know, you see the growth. Uh, it was good for AJ to have to go into that situation um, to kind of see where he was in the moment and, you know, just be able to continue to grow from those experiences. But uh, defensively, I love, I mean, I thought those, the first defense was, was, Phenomenal! I thought they they ran ran to the ball hard, played physical. Um, that's that's what jumped out to me when I watched went back and watched it. It was the effort, the physicality. Uh, you know, I intentionally went three straight practices at the end of last week. Um, you know, with two with Thursday being one of our most you know, physical practices at a goal line practice, and then you have a big pass heavy day on Friday. And you know, they they showed up. I mean, that's it was it was good to see. And there's um, there's times that you'll watch teams that they get to that spring game and guys are you know, playing hesitant or just you know playing careful and you know I thought our guys went out with a purpose to get better and it was a great crowd I, I really appreciated everybody that came out and uh, you know, it was fun experiences you'll be able to have a lot of our you know, past players here uh, but I mean I thought our guys played with, with great energy you know they're continuing to to play more discipline um, you know which there wasn't a ton of flags there were a handful of them that we got to get cleaned up but um, you know I, I thought I thought we made some some great strides. Having the big crowd at, at, at the game, does that energize your players? 
Well, I mean, it's, uh, I love it because they get to see who they represent. And, uh, you know, it's a, you know, we got an unbelievable fan base, you know, it's, you know, great supporters. To see them, you know, show up, uh, it was, there was a buzz around, you know, city of Tallahassee during the day. And, um, you know, it's just, it's what it should be. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's never take it for granted, especially after COVID, you know, you never, you never take any, any opportunity to have fans. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, it was it was just great to have everybody here, and really, really grateful for that. And our guys were appreciative of it as well. Mike, what do you think uh, Julian Amella will add to the offensive line group when he's here in June? Well, I'm really excited about Julian, and he was here this weekend. It was it was great seeing him, and just to his continued uh, growth and development. He's done he's done a remarkable job through his high school career of just you know changing his body, and he's coming in. I mean. It, Physically, I mean, he's going to have a lot of the tools and, and things that are necessary to, to be able to compete early. He's also playing one of the hardest positions uh, to come in and and, uh, and you know contribute early. But you know, he's I mean, he's passionate about it, and uh, you know, I, I like where I like the things he's done up to this point. But he's 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 big, and long, athletic. You know, does a, does a great job uh, with the physical nature of the game. So it's going to be for seeing him. You know, Jalen Early was also here, which you know from Texas and. Um, you know, he's a he's another guy that we think you know sky's the limit for him, and uh, you know he's he's really done a nice job, and uh, you know all of all of our signees uh, you know get a chance to you know, play Sean Sapp is another one. I mean I, those three linemen that are coming in in, in this summer, I mean it'll, it's it's always a challenge at that position, but those guys are are very talented young men, and we're excited about getting them here. You know, they, now that it's all right, given that you already. It must say it's great if you wouldn't have this together by now. Um, given that you have the majority of the roster already here intact, uh, do you have a good sense of the identity of this of this team going forward? This is a team that works, and they've they've responded to the challenges that have been presented. You now I try to challenge these guys daily, and you know I want them to I want there to be I want them to be uncomfortable. I want to see them in moments when they're getting coached really hard, and you're emphasizing certain points. Are you seeing the Are you seeing the proper response of what you're asking them to do, or are they just are they listen Are they are they hearing you, but maybe not listening to the things that uh, uh, that need to be done? But this this group, when you identify things that have to improve, I've seen them really put focus towards that, and so uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about this group. I'm excited about. Uh, the guys we have and you know like, like I just told them you know here at the end of practice uh, we we are where I think we need to be right finishing spring um, but uh, we have you know we have you know, a lot of work ahead we got to finish finish academically um, you know we talk all the time how you do anything is going to be how you do everything so we talk about to being a team that wants to finish well now is our time to go finish academically as, as good as we can uh, as possibly can all right and then we'll have you know a little bit of time where, where guys will be off some discretionary time and then we jump into the summer. Um, it's going to be a, a critical summer for this team. But with most of them being here, they ha they have a sense of the expectation and, and the standard. This being our second full you know summer of us getting to to work and operate with them. I mean, they know what's coming. So uh, there there's a uh, there's an excitement about it. But they know they got to get their minds right. What are the things that you're going to emphasize in the summer for them? You know, it's a, it's really to, to say that not a whole lot different than when we came in the spring we got it has to be consistency um, you know I, I think you see and, and you saw you know in past experiences it just I mean there this has been a team that there's been some ups and downs and um, you know we want to consistently be our best consistently uh, you know show up and, and trust the fundamentals you know trust the communication I think that showed up this spring I thought I thought we communicated so much better than any time that you know since we've been here um, but now it's continuing to play faster, to, to the, the efficiency in all operation, um, and just continue to grow closer. I mean, the the, the, the closeness and the belief in this team is, is really high, uh, but I think it can continue to get better. And we'll, you know, it's going to constantly change. You're always, you're going to be adding adding newcomers. You're going to have, uh, you know, just different elements that always show up. So I'm, I'm excited about that process. You know, Time for a couple more. We always talk about how important the spring is for the early enrollees and transfers, but but how important are these next few months where they can look back at what the spring is like? And, and that's what, like, even today, that's what today was for. Like, we tried to show them some things that maybe they had not seen or maybe, you know, different areas because now it, at least it's on tape and they can, you know, as we get in and, and have the ability uh, during the summer program um, to have meetings, we can reference back to a lot of these things that, that we've done and then try to clean up the finer details. 
and that's where you know for all those guys that are coming it's not their first time hearing it and we'll be able to get a little bit further along because sometimes like some of these newcomers i thought you know caden lyles was a guy that you know, he played the most snaps he's played um you know, they're in, in Saturday scrims. I thought he did well. And there was a couple plays here and there, but I, like I told him after, I was like, that was, that's what I needed to see. But, you know, he's also at the, the back end of it. He's playing more confident and he was able to get those repetition, uh, or those, those, um, those reps. And it was, it was good to see. So now you carry that in the summer, if he'll take that, bring that same mindset, you know, I think you're going to continue to see a great jump because he's the, the focus on the fundamentals rather than just being what to do, but now clean up how to do it. Utilizing the portal, how you have this off season, bringing in all the new guys. Is there anyone who stood out to you from a leadership perspective, um, whether that be you know the returning guys that we've seen? Um, I think we have a, a lot of great leaders, you know, um, guys that are returning. Uh, I think Fabian Lovett, Rob, Rob Cooper, you know, Dylan Gibbons. Uh, seems great growth out of uh, you know, Jordan Travis, Rob Scott, uh, you know, Treshawn Ward. Cam McDonald is really, I thought Cam had a really good spring, and that was something that I, I was excited to see. Uh, I like the overall competition at the, at the receiver room. I mean, I thought those guys, that, you know, to say, to point out a leader, but when you have that type of competition, I mean, guys have to elevate, and, you know, guys worked. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that rather than point out a single leader in, in that. Um, you know, Kalen Deloach, uh, Tatum Bethune is a newcomer that really came in. You know, I like, you know, Amari Gaynor has been a part of this program for such a long time and continues to, to, to work to improve, to get better. I mean, excited about, uh, you know, what I've seen from him. Um, you know, the defensive backfield, you know, Jamie Robinson's a guy that, you know, we challenged him when he came back. And, uh, you know, just such a such a talented player and he's, he's a great teammate. But now is this time to, to be able to step up and step out. And I've seen him do that. I've seen him do it in the off-season program, um, you know, and then really kind of emerged there late in, late in uh, the spring and, you know, saw some great things from him. So, I mean, there's a, I know that's a lot of guys I mentioned, but you want that. I mean, we should have that. I mean, these guys that are here, I mean, they uh, they understand what we're expecting. And the guys that are, that are being brought in, you know, like Jared Verse, I mean, I, he, he knew coming in what to what to expect and what we were going to ask of him. And, you know, they, they embrace that challenge because you know, if, they're, if they're not going to embrace it, they're not going to be here. And you know, we try to be very transparent of, of the expectation. And we saw the benefit of that uh, a year ago with the guys that transferred in. And, you know, it's I think it showed up really well here this spring, uh, you know, with, with the newcomers. What's the outlook on Winston Wright's recovery? What, what's the outlook for Winston? He's, it's coming along. I mean, he's been he's been here, been in meetings. Um, you know, still still um, you know working through his process. You know, they're trying to keep you know not not bring him out here. To, you know, as of yet, still. Uh, um, but he's 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 progressing along, and we're we're excited about where it will be, and we're just working with Winston in the process of his rehab, and um, you know, we'll see how that goes uh, throughout the course of the summer. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I have Ja'Kai Douglas. That'll be 